Hi guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to add a full 3D body as a character in your Gorilla Tag fan game. If you haven't already, go and watch my first video on how to make a Gorilla Tag VR fan game, because of course you need the game to be made before you do this. So please go and watch that video. And before I teach you guys, I just want to give a huge shout out to Edster, because he made the script to make this all possible. So join his Discord server link in the description, he's making two games. And make sure to join my Discord server link in the description if you have any questions or need any help with anything Unity related or with this tutorial or just to be in my videos and stuff and just to hang out with my awesome community and anyways let's get straight into the video so as you can see here here's the game that we made in the last video today i'm going to be teaching you how to make it a full 3d body just like in gorilla tag so first of all what we're going to do first of all what you guys want to do you guys want to go to the google doc that i linked in the description and you want to copy everything in the doc just do Control a and then Control c and then in unity go to your scripts folder right click do create and then create a c sharp script and rename it to fast ik fabric exactly this spelling this capitalization if it's not like this then it won't work and then just click enter and you're gonna double click on this and then it should open if you don't have visual studio get it it's in the microsoft store something should pop up saying that you need to get it and once you're here just click on anything do Control a and then delete and then it should Control v so it paste the whole code and then up here click save and you can x out of that and then in unity it should say compiling c sharp script and do this stuff now that we have the script we want to go to our gorilla rig here go to real time plus vr player and here it says vr player just double click on that now we actually need our model for the 3d player i highly recommend using robot kyle because it's really easy to use this is the thing that most people use it is still really cool so i'm just going to search up this i just got it from the unity asset store then just do add to my assets you have to sign in then just click on open in unity and then open in unity editor then just click download here and then import then import then you can next out of that go back to assets then there should be a folder here that says robot kyle so that's what you have to do if you want to use robot kyle pretty much robot kyle looks like this pretty cool i use it for my game but i'm just going to be using that for this tutorial so back in assets go to robot kyle or wherever you have your thing i'm just going to go to model here and then drag in your player thing and then once this is in it's going to be way too big So first of all, drag this down so it's kind of like by the player. Now I'm just going to resize it. Make sure all the sizing is equal because if it's not equal, it won't really work out. It'll still work, but it'll be really deformed. Then what you want to do, you want to kind of line it up with the player model that's already here. So this is good enough. Now what you want to do, up here in the hierarchy where it says head, just make sure that's open. Then you want to click on mouth pivot and move it to head. So drag it on head and then just let go. Then where it says head model, just delete that. And then for mouth pivot, Pivot. I'm going to scale it to zero. So zero, zero, zero. So now there will still be voice chat, but there won't be like a moving mouth. You can keep it there if you want, but it probably won't look the best. Then where it says left hand and right hand, then delete left hand model and delete right hand model. Then what we're going to do, go to Robot Kyle or whatever your 3D model is. Go to the drop down menu and keep on doing it and have a bunch of stuff open. What we're going to do just because it's a gorilla type fan game and it's not supposed to have legs, where it says hip here or wherever, like connects the torso to the legs and stuff. We're just gonna scale that to zero. And now it looks like this. Now where it says ribs, we're gonna go to left shoulder joint and right shoulder joint and just open those up like this. Now, as you can see, here we have wrist joint. Pretty much this wrist joint is kind of connecting the wrist and the hand. Then if we open it up a bit more, it has the fingers. And the fingers are going too far, so we're just going to keep it on the wrist joints. So then what we're going to do, we're going to go back to assets here. Go to scripts, and then drag fast IK fabric onto the wrist joint, the left one, and the right one. Now what we're going to do, we're going to start with the left wrist joint. So just click on that. Then here, it should say target and pull. So now we're on the left one. For target, we're going to drag left hand there. And for pull, we're going to do the left forearm joint. Now if you're using a different model, the forearm joint is just anything that like connects this now we're done with the left arm now we're gonna do the same for the right arm we're gonna make the target the right hand we're gonna make the pull the right forearm joint and that's it now we can go to file and go to save we can go back and now we're good so now we're gonna test the game so just use your pc vr or if you don't have that you can build the game just to test it i taught that in the last video okay so now i'm in pc vr i'm just gonna play the game i just clicked on play okay guys before we test play the game i forgot to do something 
go back to real time VR player, double click on VR player, and the whole robot Kyle thing or whatever your model is, just click on it and drag it onto head. So then it's under head, so then it'll actually show in the game. Now you can go back. Now we're gonna test it. So just click on the play button. And now, as you can see, we have the 3D model. It's a bit small, so give me a second. Now I'm gonna go back to the VR player. I'm gonna go to robot Kyle and scale it back to one because that is the size that it was supposed to be. But if the size isn't one or if it looks way too big or way too small, just change it so it's like about this size. Then go back. Now I'm gonna click play. And now as you can see, we have the model, but it shows our eyes here. So we're gonna go out of play, go back to the VR player thing. And now you see the eyes are in front of this line. So we're just gonna move it so the eyes are a bit behind the line. Go back and let's click play. Okay, that never worked. We're gonna go back to VR player. Now I'm just gonna move it a bit up because pretty much what we see is coming from this line right here so we're going to be seen kind of out of the nose but that's fine so now we can click on play here and now as you can see it's fine but you may think oh wow well when i put my arms out it goes like this well to fix that we need to make the player model a bit bigger because this is the default size these yellow things are the hand colliders would actually collide with stuff so as you can see if we stretch it out like this that's where our hands are not here so in order to fix that and make it so our arms are more accurate you need to make the model a bit bigger and i'm gonna make it 1.3 for all of them then once again i'm just gonna move it right down here and that should be good so now let's click play and test it out so as you can see this is a lot better our hands do look a bit big but as you know we can make it a tiny bit smaller but there will still be that problem. Right now when I'm playing, I still do kind of see my eyes above me. But I just need to move the model a tiny bit more down. But anyways, that's how you add a full 3D player in your Gorilla Attack fan game. Once again, if you guys have any questions, please join my Discord server. Link in the description. I can help you with anything you want. Well, maybe not anything, but most stuff. Sometimes the arms will glitch out like this. It's not really a glitch. It's just a Gorilla Attack doesn't do that because it has a bit of a different script. I hope this tutorial helped you. Make sure to join my Discord server link in the description if you need any help of any kind. And comment down below if you want me to make a tutorial on how to add cosmetics to your game because I can also do that. It's very easy. Please make sure to like and subscribe because it helps me out so much. You don't even understand it. Make sure to join my Discord server link in the description as I said. And yeah guys, that's it for me today. Peace.